Hi everyone, welcome back to Venova Collectibles. As you can see, it's all changed around here. Uh, the new office is taking shape. Still some work to do, blinds and stuff to sort out uh, in a future video. Hopefully not too long in the future, I'll give you a full little room tour. Um, but you know, work in progress in the new house. Today, I've got an absolute bumper CGC submission. Um, this has come through a customer um, at venovacollectibles.com. We are now taking CGC submissions and we're sending them off for a monthly basis. We send them off for pressing as well. So I've got customers sent a huge stack of comics, half of which are going to clean in the pressings. You'll see in a future video and half of which are here. And let me tell you, this is an absolute, an absolute slaughter fest of a submission. It is, it is so good. Um, keys coming out your ears, great books. Uh, mostly modern um, I think there's a couple that aren't modern but mostly modern um, and yeah we've got a mammoth so I think we've got 40 books going off this week um, as soon as I've done this recording they're going to be packaged up the CGC submissions all being filled out uh, so they'll be going off and uh, we'll see them in a few months you'll see them unboxed here um, and yeah hopefully it won't be too long but you know what CGC is like turnaround time I'd probably say three months I'd probably say minimum June July We'll see. Anyway, without further ado, let's get diving right in. Um, I am looking to at new ways that I can do these sorts of videos. Um, so we're going to stick in the usual format now of me holding up the books, but potentially once things are cleared up a bit and we've got the scanner, I'll scan the pictures and have them um, over the screen rather than me showing you, uh, just for better quality and stuff, but need the scanner all sorted out first. So anyway. Okay, so first off, Amazing Fantasy number 10. This is the first appearance of Nina Price, the Vampire by Night. Um, not a character I know too much about. It's a this this issue's got a little bit of little bit of wear, or quite a bit of wear on the spine. Not sure if that's a it may be a printing defect, and this is why I want to scan the images um, in the future. Show you um, maybe a printing defect because it's quite sustained across the whole spine. Um, the whitening, I'm not too sure about that, but yeah, that's the first appearance of Nina, um, Nina Price, the Vampire by Night, um, and if you know this series, you will know that Amazing Fantasy 15 is the book, not that Amazing Fantasy 15, but this Amazing Fantasy 15, this is the first appearance of Amadeus Cho, who becomes the, uh, becomes the new Hulk, um, good book, good spec book, um, with all of the, all of this stuff that's being introduced. We have actually seen Amadeus Cho's mum in the MCU. Um, she was the scientist doctor person who helped create Vision. Um, not sure whether that was just, just a throwaway connection or whatnot, but, you know, with the, with the Young Avengers all being built up and, you know, Mark Ruffalo... Probably moving on in a couple of years. Um, we do have She-Hulk coming through, but Amadeus Cho is a character who could easily be introduced. Obviously, increase, increases the diversity of the MCU as well, so it would be a very capable character for that. Moving on to Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, this is actually one of my favourite ever covers. Um, that right there, just the That's my favourite ever cover, Venom Lethal Protector. And you can see some, if I do that, See some great artwork by Austin Ott. Um, that's going to be framed and being put in the middle. But this one, great cover. First full cover appearance of Venom. Amazing Spider-Man, 316. 315, there's a uh, partial Venom cover. Um, it, I mean, officially it's his, first, it's his first cover, but it's not It's not really him fully. Uh, sort of semi semi stuff it's just not it's it's not a great cover that's the 316 is the money book in terms of that side of things obviously 300 the big money book 316 great cover uh great todd mcfarlane art got recreated for a spawn issue as well moving on with the amazing spider-man another modern book another one people will know a fair bit about is silk now there's all sorts of speculation about sony and their plans for their spider-verse we've had venom Morbius is coming out, although it doesn't look like it's going to be all that great. Um, Red Venom, Morbius, we've seen seen the Spider-Man films, um, all the speculation about uh, the all the speculation about all the different characters that could 
possibly be introduced. Madam Web is the one that I was thinking of for Amazing Spider-Man 210. Silk is another one. Silk is another one that's been highly specced on. Amazing Spider-Man 4, first appearance, big modern key. And uh, speaking of modern keys, Amazing Spider-Man, a little bit older, annual number 16. This is the first Monica Rambo, the exciting origin of the all new, all different, all terrific Captain Marvel, Monica Rambo, who we saw in the Captain Marvel film, and we then saw in WandaVision, and saw her get her powers, and then will be making an appearance in the Marvels, along with Brie Larson and uh, the new Miss Marvel. Now I mentioned there was a couple of economy books in here, some of the older stuff, there is, this is Avengers number 23. This is the UK price variant. This is the first appearance of uh, Renslayer. Is it Ren? I can't remember her first name. Renslayer, the head of the um, TVA in the Loki series. Great book. I absolutely love this cover. Really, really good. Uh, Avengers is always a weird one for me because great books. I love the Avengers. But in terms of keys... There's not as many, if, if you compare it to the Fantastic Four and compare it to X-Men, Spider-Man and that sort of era where you've just got keys coming out of your ears for a lot of those, particularly Spider-Man. Avengers is a bit less that less than that. You've got obviously number one, number four, um, and then there's a few others early on, but nothing nothing major. Kang, obviously, um, and then you get towards Vision territory, but there's not... It's not huge ones. It's interesting. But this is a huge one. And it is another book that people like a lot. This is Avengers number 48. This is the first appearance of Black Knight, who we saw in the Eternals with Kit Harrington. Kit Harrington. This is a this is gonna be a very low grade copy, I reckon. Um looks to be that's definitely off-white pages, a lot of creases, uh tear in the bottom, looks like that tear could almost take a chunk out but it hasn't yet um but centrally it presents quite nicely but it's a yeah, classic cover great book and uh yeah my, my feelings with books especially when they get low grade get them slabbed for protection more than anything uh sort of book sort of book like that and the condition that it's in if you don't get it slabbed then you know you, you're pulling it out of the bags and boards if you're changing them and you know a tear could just go AWOL Avengers number 55. This is the first appearance of Ultron. Um, I personally don't believe that Ultron is done and dusted in the MCU. It's too simple. He's too big of a character. Um, and, you know, he's technologically based. He could have just backed himself up on a hard drive somewhere. So Ultron, further down the line, we could see him again. Great book. This is in a significantly better condition than the... Uh, Avengers 48 that we just saw, um, a lot cleaner, still off white pages, still some tanning around the edge of the book and some some spine ticks and loss of loss of colour, loss of the white cover, but significantly better than the other one. And then moving on to modern Avengers 129. This is in a looks to be in a minor. Um classic, brilliant can can cover. The Kang, who we have seen sort of in uh, Loki, uh, he who m remains, and we're going to see him in Quantum uh, Quantum Mania, Ant Man, its next movie, and he's going to stick around. He's probably going to be the next big bad. In fact, almost definitely going to be the next big bad in the MCU as we tick towards what's likely to be Secret Wars. Anyway, the keys keep on rolling and sticking with the Avengers. Avengers Annual Ten. If you know this book, you will know it instantly. This is the first appearance of Rogue, a classic X-Men character, um, great cover, Captain America totally defeated, the Spider-Woman, cameo appearance by the Uncanny X-Men, which is where Rogue appears, uh, great book, great cover, um, sort of rolling it back this is 1981 but it rolls it back to the tales of suspense tales to a tonic astonished sort of days where the cover would be broken up into different panels for the different stories that are going on in there now from marvel to we've got a little bit of dc here and uh keys that stand out instantly this is a book that batman batman fans will be able to identify immediately it is Batman 4 to 
free. Absolutely classic Todd McCover. Todd McCover? Classic Todd McFarlane cover, although there is that massive print uh, error there. It's got to colour in that little bit. Uh, the the moon? Is it the moon? Yeah, but great cover. I absolutely love this book. This is a really, really popular book and one of the most classic Batman covers of all time. Um, absolutely brilliant book. Must, must have for any Batman collector, really. And a great book. Really, really good. Really excited to see what this comes back as. Um, in terms of condition, a couple of spine ticks that are uh, colour breaking. Um, corners look pretty sharp. Colouring, me off a bit. Probably going to be off white pages, but it looks to be in decent lick and it's going to present really, really nicely. Modern Keys and Batman once again. This is. Batman 635, this is the first appearance of the Red Hood, uh, uh, Jason Todd as the Red Hood, the most famous uh, Red Hood um, incarnation, um, obviously big, big bad of the Titans uh, TV series, the most recent season, great character, um, he's going to be covering in the, the upcoming Marvel Knights game, I'm pretty sure he's in on that, and uh, another, another good book, but swiftly back to oh no not not back to marvel just yet i'm just taking a little cheeky peek ahead yeah so shazam superman and shazam 49 this is the first appearance of black adam black adam to be played by the rock in the upcoming movie which seems to have been being created since the beginning of time it is one of those films that i'm still not entirely convinced we'll ever see um, it's just sort of seems to be stuck in limbo for years. Uh, you know, it sort of gets to the point where it gets to that infamous gambit in Channing Tatum territory. Where is it going to happen? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we've seen we've seen parts of it now, so it sort of suggests that it is coming. Uh, but nice book, Superman and Shazam's DC Comics presents, and now we're going back into the Marvel. And a little detour. Well, this is Cable and Deadpool. Number 24, this is Spider-Man on the cover. This is the first meeting of Cable and Deadpool. So it's a bit of a minor key. Um, could have some significance. I think Ryan Reynolds and Tom Holland in the MCU together would be an absolute pleasure to watch. So that could happen. Um, but yeah, nice book. Moving on to modern keys. Star Wars Darth Vader, number three. The first appearance of Doctor Aphra. A uh, very, very popular book. Um, Star Wars books are rising in popularity at the moment, and um, particularly the more modern stuff. Um, you know, they, they are they are a great read. If you haven't read some of the modern uh, Star Wars stuff, and you're a Star Wars fan, absolutely have a have a look in um, the Darth Vader run, the Star Wars run um, from around the same area. Basically, anything that takes your fancy. I'm a big fan of the uh, Bounty Hunter series. So, yeah. And now we will go into this one before going into a bit of a modern Spidey madness with the big book of the lot. And first up, it's Fantastic Four number 211. This is the first appearance of Terax. Terax, one of the many, many heralds of Galactus and one of the many, many books that people are specking on for the uh, heralds of Galactus because... Fantastic Four are coming. Galactus surely has to come somewhere down the line. I wouldn't be surprised if he's a big bad at some point, um, combining the villains and the heroes fighting together against Galactus. That sort of thing. Um, that's going to happen probably quite a, a way off. Uh, but it's a big spec book for Terax and all of the Heralds of Galactus, all of the minor ones. Obviously, Silver Surfer is the the Grail book and that sort of stuff, but things like Frankie Ray, Terax, um, they are they are the ones that everyone's specking on. And now into the Spidey stuff. Um, we've got five books here, and four of them are all of the similar ilk. This is the one that's out, but again, one people who instantly recognise, Edge of Spider-Verse, number two. First appearance of Spider-Gwen, great book. This looks to be a very clean copy indeed. So it'd be interesting to see what that comes back as. 
It's a book that I have a bit of ill feeling towards because I had it on a pull list for a uh, comic shop back in the day and um, guess what? It wasn't put aside for me and I missed out on it and I never got hold of it. Uh, so yeah, that's a bit of a bummer. So I always feel a bit, a bit salty about that one but it is what it is. Great book and it uh, looks to be in great condition and now onto the quartet, um, so to speak, of Miles Morales. So, where shall we begin? Well, we'll begin with All New Spider-Man number one, the first Miles Morales ongoing series, classic cover, book that's really increased in popularity, this condition, uh, fairly good, somewhere on the spine that will knock it down again a bit, but it presents beautifully, classic cover, and, uh, that is the first book in that lot. And now, if you know Miles Morales, you will know these books. So, Ultimate Spider-Man number four, Ultimate Fallout number four, sorry. This is the second print. So, it's the same cover as the first print, but it is a second print in variant, as it says. Looks to be in very good nick. A couple of spine ticks. Pretty sharp. Uh bit of a buff at the bottom corner sticking with the second prints this is the Pacelli variant um, I actually prefer this cover in all honesty I prefer this cover um, but it's it's the other one that gets the notice uh, and here it is here is the other one Modern Grail uh, the Modern Amazing Fantasy 15 some call it. I do not agree with that. I'm not going to get into all of that, but yes. Modern, modern Grail, Ultimate Spider-Man, Ultimate Fallout number four, first appearance of Miles Morales as Spider-Man, and this is the first prince. This is a hefty book, so this will be going out in the, um, the, the, the more expensive tier. It's, uh, it doesn't fit into the modern tier. It's, its value is is too high for that. Um, so that's going to be it. That's going to be going in, in itself. Um, so these will all be sent off together. They're probably going to come back in different batches. We'll probably get the Ultimate Fallout 4, the first print, back on its own. All the moderns together and all the economies together. So one of them is going to be a massive unboxing. Probably about 30. Um, one of them is going to have, I think it's about... I think it's about eight, and then one of them is just going to be the one of the ultimate Fallout 4. But, guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you do want to get involved, um, do check out vanova-collectibles.com. All the CGC details are there for pressing that we, we can take care of as well. We are working with RJC pressing on this. You basically send it to us, we'll send it off to them, and uh, we'll basically deal with all of that um, so you know that they're all, it's all being done, and all you can do is sit patiently and wait. Submissions will be going off monthly. The deadline for submissions is the 25th of the month. If you do miss that deadline, you're going to have to wait till the next month. Um, unfortunately, I've got to set a cutoff point at some point. And the deadline for pressing is the 5th. Um, so again, that's going to be, if you miss that deadline, you go into the next month's submission. What it does mean for the pressing, it means it will probably come back probably i'd probably say around the 10th 12th of the month uh, the following month uh, i think it's about three four week turnaround and then it will go at the end of the month but you'll be upgraded on the process all the way through i can help you out any way you need to but in terms of the cgc submission i deal with all of that i'll deal with all the forms and stuff so you don't need to worry about that and i'll walk you through it if you need to uh, so do check out the website if you haven't subscribed please do we've got so much coming Obviously, regular CGC submissions come in, coming up. We're going to get to the point where we get regular CGC returns, and I cannot wait for that. And, uh, yeah, we've got all sorts, all sorts planned. And uh, thanks a lot, everyone, and I will see you all next time.